What's up everyone? Tamara here from Tam Psych Advice. So what do you think of this couple? INFJ paired with the ENTP. Do you think it makes a great couple? They certainly think so. So I don't know what I think. I mean, I definitely have an opinion. I'm not so sure that this makes the best couple, but what I am sure of is how highly attracted they are to each other. You create this crowd, you put an INFJ in there and you put an ENTP and they are going to find each other every time and they're gonna start making magic because this is a magical couple that might not make so much sense on paper, but in fantasy world or in just that euphoria i want that high i want to feel good i feel this magnetism between us that's this type they feel a magnetism they feel very drawn to each other but there are definitely things about them that i'm looking at and i'm like hey, i don't know i mean you got your j and you got your p that right there clash 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 that's gonna be a potential issue then you've got your extrovert and your introvert thing going on now entps can go into an introverted lane at times and there are some infjs who feel like an extrovert both intuitive so they've got that in common but now you've got the thinking versus feeler if there's anything that we're used to in society is that thinker feeler dynamic thing happening 75 percent of males are thinkers 75 percent of females are feelers but still that dynamic causes a lot of friction it causes a lot of problems I want to take in consideration how someone is feeling before I make a decision. And I want to step out of the situation and make a decision. I just recently saw some thinkers and feelers fighting. They were all guys, by the way, but it was, hey, I'm concerned about how the kids are going to feel. The thinkers were like, I don't care how the kids feel. I'm concerned about what the right logical, what does the law say is the correct thing to do. So. That thinking and feeler thing, that can cause a lot of problems. But for some reason, when I picture INFJ with an ENTP, I see a lot of fighting. I see a lot of rolling on the floor and anger, like really like getting upset into really heated arguments. That is just what I see. That is my ENFJ gut feeling, but it can be completely and totally wrong because the INFJ might be too shy argue with the ENTP. It really depends on them. Like you could also have a really strong dominating INFJ that holds no bar. You can just get energy from each other. Sometimes you need someone who's a little different from yourself to bring out the side of you that you like or to, to kind of tamper down parts of yourself that are a little bit too loud or too boisterous or you need somebody to amp you up because you're a little bit too shy, a little bit too reserved. So sometimes you get different types together that seem like they wouldn't work and they actually work real well. I'm just concerned because I think they are magnetically drawn to each other. Like they really can ignite each other in a very, very, very romantic way way and that is all great it's all gravy but at the end of the day can you make things work do you have enough things alike that can keep this relationship going because you're gonna have the entp they're more than likely gonna play in a lot of ideas and the infj might come across as a little too rigid because sometimes they're into their boundaries. On the contrary, if you're an INFJ ENTP couple, can you please invite me into one of your conversations? Because I want to eavesdrop. I'm going to take notes because this is going to be one heck of a juicy conversation. Because you see, both of these types are dreamers. They make strong connections and have vivid imaginations based on their intuition. They are both very unique 
types. And so this conversation that they're going to have is going to make you shake. It's going to take you to the next level. You're going to feel things that you've never felt before. You're going to tap into parts of yourself through their intuitive powers. They have no bounds. They can go to high levels and be deeply inspired and on fire with each other. So they're going to have intoxicating conversation. It's going to be like light and heat generated together to make them just pow. Like they are a yummy couple, no doubt. I know why they get together. So they just have to work on the things that could tear them apart and crush them and destroy them. Even though these two make decisions based on very different criteria, I say, go for it. Love is love. Isn't love supposed to be about chemistry and romance and all that spark? Isn't that the point of it? The problem is, is when you live together and you have to make one life work, that's where the challenges could come in. But so what? who cares? If you can bridge some of those gaps, then you'll be great. So remember ENTP, you've got an introverted partner. So when they're talking, just pinch your lips together and make yourself listen, which I personally feel like ENTPs are great at this. They can be phenomenal listeners and they can really help the INFJ with whatever problems they're going through. They can be phenomenal at that. So make sure you listen to their feelings and value them because INFJs feel very strongly about their feelings. So don't dismiss them, be condescending with them, enjoy flirting with them. You guys are great at that. Make sure that you take initiative with some things that maybe are boring to do, you know, like boring stuff like chores. Make sure you finish what you start. INFJs, ENTPs can handle your truths. Yes, they're gonna be more vulnerable because they're madly and insanely in love with you. So some negative things could be hurtful. So you definitely wanna use tact. But the point is, you don't wanna hold things in until you go crazy with it. Like, oh my gosh, why are you? Just let them know if there's something that is of concern with you. Can you move that cup to the cupboard, please? And just handle it right then. You definitely want to let them talk about their ideas and their intellectual interests. Tap into your spontaneous side because that's part of the fun of being with an ENTP is being able to go with the flow and go with something new. And even though you might have a tendency to retreat at times, you definitely want to keep the communication going. Even if you're setting in your mind, a time every day that the two of you will just talk about whatever is on your hearts and minds. Give them the time to talk out their thoughts and even be okay with having some good natured arguments at times where you talk about the pros and the cons of an issue with them. I think they will delight in it. And just remember that the ENTP loves you deeply and sometimes thinking and feeling can get in the way. Try not to take things or their straightforwardness personally. So I give this couple an A++ because in my mind, being a feeler, I'm not gonna be objective. I'm gonna step in and say, love is love. You find somebody that you feel that deep caring for, then I'd say, go for it. Just work through whatever comes your way. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Now, I believe that Lisa Bonet and Jason Momoa are this couple. I think he's the ENTP and she's the INFJ and they are going through a divorce or they may already be divorced by now. And he says that they drifted apart because of different interests. He's into his work and very focused on his career. But I also read like in their statement that he really loved being at home and writing poetry and he wanted more adventure. That's an example of why this couple could have some stressors. I did think they made a very romantic couple. I think everyone thinks so. So hopefully they'll still 
stay together. But this is an example of why this does make a great couple. I mean, they were married for a very long time. But at the same time, I personally think it doesn't matter if you're extroverted, introverted, what type you are. Some people are homebodies. Some people want to be on the go. And so it's easier if you are a match in that area. I don't think it's necessarily because of their Myers-Briggs type. So if you're still struggling with love, check out my book, Flip the Script on Love. If you're in this couple, my book is going to help you work through some of the frustrations so that you can have the romance that you deserve and that you desire. Check out my playlist for ENTPs and INFJs in the playlist. I've got lots of videos that will help you understand each other so much better. So check those out. And thanks for hanging out with me today. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.